Touch Crunch, my name is Jim. Today I'll run through a core class with you that really is very portable. You can do this routine just about anywhere. Uh, all you need is maybe a towel or a mat for the floor. Uh, I have a timer that will show up on the screen. So again, very portable. Uh, let me run through the exercises we're gonna do. Guys, we're gonna run through these 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, seven segments of that. We'll get a short 30 second break after we run through all those. Light stretching, catch your breath. Then we're right back at it for a second round, under 12 minutes, 11.50, okay? So first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna land the back, and we're gonna do a version of a leg lift. We're gonna come from the side and come up, and we're, we're forming like a, a sideways figure eight on the floor. So the upswing is on the outside, then we dip down, then we come up on the other side, and you're just gonna carve an infinity sign or an eight, okay? Great exercise, lower obliques get involved heavily in, in lower abs. Um, then we're going to do a bicycle toe reach, so we're focused on one side at a time, getting those two movements, okay, and then we'll hit the other side. Uh, after that, arms over the head, we're going to do this, 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 this toe reach, this suitcase style crunch, right? Then legs are down, we're going to fold legs off to one side, we're going to do just a simple oblique crunch, not a lot of range of motion here, it's very subtle. And you can feel it. I might even put my hands on there. Sometimes if you create a little pressure, you can really pinpoint those muscles. So one side, then the other with that one as well. We're going to finish with some flutter kicks. All right. So kind of attacking the core all the way around. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. I have the timer set up here. Uh, I'm going to hit start. It's quick, only four seconds. So line figure eights. Here we go. I'll hit start. Hands, you can put them down below, out to the side. I'm gonna go behind my head and we're coming up. And if you watch this upswing and then I come down and then up and I'm forming that eight on the ceiling. Trying to get those hips elevated with each upswing. So if you watch as I do this, a lot of control with those hips. So we bring the hips up, come down, bring the hips up and down. If you're not at that level where you're comfortable doing that, guys, a leg lift is fine. Without the hip, but the hip lift really magnifies the intensity of this movement. Okay, next exercise, one set at a time. Guys, we're gonna do a, a bicycle and then up toe reach. Here we go. Boom, we can back side, we can reach with the toe. Don't have to hit the toe, but reach for it. Those are really effective, really feeling those. Whoo, great complement to the, the line figure eights. Here we go, other side. Hands on hand, don't pull the head. Intense. Just suitcase style crunch. Make sure you have clean room behind you. I'm gonna extend the arms over my head. And I'm not gonna go down too low on these. So about here with the legs up. Exhale as you come up. And again, I'm getting those hips to come up just a little bit off the mat so I can really engage especially involve those lower abs a little more. I let the core do all the work. Okay, 
drop the feet down. We're gonna fold legs off to one side, okay? And then I'm just gonna open the mat here a little bit. I'm gonna come across, and guys, we're just crunch up. Don't have to open up all the way. Just a little bit of an angle, and you can feel that sweet spot. You can really get those obliques. And you don't have to go very high. Just kind of support the head with the hand. Don't pull the head up. kind of manipulate the ankle slightly to really maximize those obliques. So you don't want to be all the way open, you don't want to be all the way to the side. Oh man, that felt great. Okay, so now we're going to go some flipper kicks. Don't go too low. We're going to stay sort of low here, but I don't want you to strain your lower back. Hands here or behind the head. Guys, we have a 30 second break. Whoo! Rest those abs a little bit. If you want to roll in the stomach, do a little stretch, you could do that. Okay, guys, we have about 10 seconds. We're doing the figure eights again. Remember, you're coming up on the outside and then down and just carving that eight. Here we go. stuff. Woo! Okay. Bicycle toe reach. Short little break, and we'll go the other way.
Woo! Man, oh man. Okay, now we have this suitcase style crunch. Again, I'm not going too low on this. Don't want to strain the lower back. A little stretch the abs and back up. Nice work. Let's fold over to one side and across. stuff. Flutter kicks. Here we go. That was, that was our final bell. So that was basically a 12 minute core routine, trying to get those muscles involved in several different angles, uh, lots of different planes of motion. Oh much the figure eights, right? You're going through, whatever you're going through that, certainly you're going through, I mean, think of all the different angles that you're going through as you're doing that. So I hope you enjoy it, hope you had a great workout. Thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness, for your wellness to you.